A video log or a video blog is usually shortened to vlog. This category of video is very popular on YouTube. I guess we'll make one of those today. What's up? It's Brandon Melly here, back with another episode of Brandon's Fabulous World of Fishing. And today is my first ever vlog style video. Today we're just gonna head up there. It's a beautiful evening. Do some shore fishing for some bass. So stay tuned and enjoy the show. And hopefully we'll see more vlog like videos on like the. So hopefully, st oh my goodness, is is there a train coming? No. No, we're good. Okay. Anyway. Anyway, like I was saying, if you like this kind of video, let me know in the comments below if you like this style, this vlog style of video. And I'll be sure to make more, so let's get this thing rolling. Alright, just park. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful place back here. There she is. There's an airplane. Guys, here is the lake. It is beautiful. As you can see. Let's get at it, see if we can't catch anything. Um, I'm gonna start off just throwing a wacky rig right now to see what the fish are doing and then we'll let you know from there, okay? I'm just gonna switch to an old standby, just inline spinner. Oh, there's one. Okay. A little baby on the spinner. But it's a fish, right? Gill. Little gill. All right guys, so we caught a couple small fish and this is kind of a dilemma that a lot of people face. They get to a new body of water and they just start catching small fish and, and one of the tips I say is throw bigger baits. So I'm gonna fire up my bait caster and put a bigger bait on it and see if I can catch something a little bigger. Stay tuned. All right, so just switched up baits. I'm throwing the uh, live target bluegill. Uh, lipless crankbait, let's see what happens. Kind of focusing my efforts around this tree here. There's one big fish, big fish. Oh my goodness, dude. Mass. Oh. oh, it's a big fish, dude. Massive fish. Probably. Okay, it's not that big. He's a nice one though. Whoa! Okay, guys. That crankbait is in its mouth. This is probably gonna go two and a half, three pound fish right here. Beauty. Again, like I said, if you're catching small fish, throw bigger baits and look for areas that bass are gonna wanna be at. There's a lay down tree right there. I just threw my bait right back in there perfectly. He came in and hit it once, hit it twice. So. A nice fish right there. Awesome. Energetic fish right there. Alright, moving to another spot. What's really tough about fishing this pond is it only has like two access points and the rest of it, the banks are pretty much straight down so it could be challenging. So I'm gonna go over here to another little area see if I can't snag another fish. I'm still pretty pumped about that first fish. See what I mean? The banks down there? Hope I do not fall here and kill myself. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ugh. Okay. Oh, little bit. Little dude smashed it right at the bank. Hold up, hold on, hold on. This is where you're gonna get hooked. Beautiful little guy. 
Big one. Big one. Always fighting. Goodness sakes. Goodness sakes, alive. Ah. Chris. Yeah. So stick fish right here. These are very rare. You only catch these every once in a while. Man, he just creamed this crankbait. Look at this guy. Probably go two and a half pounds right there. Amazing. These fish live on the bottom and when your lure comes by, boom, they just nail. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful stick fish right there. Let's get the release. Oh. <laughs> that was fake. All right guys, we are packing it out. Uh, it's getting late, we had to get home in time for supper. Had a great time, caught one decent fish. Like I said, these lakes back here, they have fish in them, they're just not very many big ones. But I was fortunate to get a nice one there. And yeah, had a great evening. So, hope you like this vlog. If you wanna see more vlogs like this, leave a comment in the comment section below. See you guys. All right, so today we're talking about my top five favorite baits for largemouth bass. A lot of these bass in these ponds just eat bluegill, so something that imitates a bluegill really, really well, does really good. So yeah, Squareable has to be probably my favorite crankbait.